Hi, it's Allison with Travel Girl, and today we're making my favorite Rice Krispie treats. And you don't need a ton of ingredients to make them, just Rice Krispies, butter, and marshmallows. But because it's Valentine's Day, we've got a few hearts and kisses for you. Okay, so step one, we put the pot on a low simmering heat because we don't want the butter to be overdone. So we just drop it in the pot. And after that, we're going to add the marshmallows. And because it's Valentine's Day, like I said, just a little bit of pink and then the Rice Krispies. Okay, so now the butter is all melted and now it's the time that we add the marshmallows. And let's just dump them all in. <laughs> and then I like to just get the butter all over them. And then we wait until they're caramelized. And this liquid goo. Okay, so now as you can see, the marshmallows are all melted. Doesn't that look good? And usually we would just start adding the Rice Krispie treats, but because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to add a little pink food coloring and just about one, two, three, four, and maybe five drops. And that should do it. And we're gonna just stir it into the marshmallows. And then the color will gradually start to change to this silky pink. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and now, this is the fun part, is stirring in the Rice Krispie Treats into all of this pink goo. Yum. And we've already measured them out, so we're just going to dump them in here and start stirring. Okay, so now usually I just eat the Rice Krispie Treats from the bowl and I stop there, but we're making it extra special today, so we are going to scoop it all out onto this nice, patch of parchment paper because we're gonna make some Valentine's Day shapes. And this one comes out nice and easy because I'm using a non-stick pan, um, which I usually don't do either, but I'm staying at my friend Sheila's place and she had a non-stick pan. And look, look at how little cleanup that is. I mean, usually I'm just picking it off, but today I am lucky. And now I'm just going to smooth it down a little with a spoon and then I'm gonna have to get a little sticky with my hands and mush it down some more. And I've already cut this other piece of parchment paper so I will have a little bit of help with mashing it all down. Mine are extra gooey because I use the whole bag of marshmallows. So I'm hoping this works out. So far, off to a great start. Okay, so now we're ready to cut our Rice Krispie treats. I put the parchment paper on and smushed it down, put some gloves on so I can pick up the Rice Krispie treats. And we're just gonna peel this back. It's all nice and flat. And then we've got hearts and lips and we just start cutting. I'm gonna do some hearts first over here and then maybe some lips over here. Isn't that good? Okay, so now we're gonna push down and wiggle it so it gets separated from the rest of the batch, <laughs> like so. And then we're gonna move it over to the parchment paper and just push it out and it'll have a nice heart shape, just like that. Okay, so we just finished cutting out the Rice Krispie Treats and now we're going to decorate it here. And I have some watermelon Jolly Ranchers, which we took a hammer and a plastic bag and we get these beautiful little crystals here. And we're just going to sort of push it into the sides of 
the Rice Krispie Treat. And we'll get all of these beautiful, just this beautiful shape here. And you can decorate it to whatever you want it to be. All right, we finished cutting out the Rice Krispie Treats. We decorated the sides with watermelon Jolly Ranchers. And now it's time for us to put it in the box. Well, gloves are off and it's in the box and this will make a great snack for you and your Valentine. So happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you next time on Travel Girl.